Hey folks, So Sporty welcomes you to the San Diego Crew Classic. Visit So Sporty in the trade show area and you'll have some great stuff that you can look at there and maybe pick up and take home with you. The Cushman Wellness Center at Sharp Memorial Outpatient Pavilion is proud to offer integrative therapies such as yoga, Chi, and healing touches to help you maintain and enhance your physical well-being. For more information, give them a call at 882-SHARP or visit the website at www.sharp.com slash OPP. Union Bank is a proud sponsor of this, our 40th anniversary Crew Classic, and they offer personal banking services that are exclusively designed to meet your financial needs because Union Bank knows you deserve more. I'm doing fine. Absolutely. Jim, if I may, since we have a couple of minutes before this goes, uh, what would you say was the uh, reason that Oregon State was able to just blow uh, in the last 100 yards and overtake University of British Columbia? I know you weren't here, but from your coaching experience and rowing background, maybe discuss what might have occurred. Well, obviously, if a we boat's moving there. well, adrenaline does Jesus amazing Murphy. things for your ability to uh, pull off a victory. We're about ready to start now. Event number 28, Women's Collegiate Novice A, Lane 1, California. Lane 2, University of Minnesota. Lane 3, University of Southern California. Lane 4, Orange Coast College. Lane 5, San Diego State. Lane 6, Sacramento State. And in lane seven, San Diego State, and we're off. Boats are clear of the starting area now, past the breakage point. Early race leader, University of Southern California. University of Minnesota is right there with them, as is Orange Coast College. The bowman of Orange Coast is uh, having a little problem with the square of her oar going a little deep as they come through where the, the bridge is and there's a crosswind. 250 meters down now, it's the Golden Gophers. University of Minnesota, your leader in lane number two, followed by California in lane one. And then it's University of Southern California in the third spot followed by Orange Coast College in fourth. Then it's San Diego State in fifth. And then a tight race between Sacramento State in lane six and San Diego State out here in lane seven. So as we approach the 500 meter mark, a very good race developing between University of Minnesota in lane two and Cal in lane one. Both coxswains look at each other now, and I can see they're both calling for a power 10 to establish that rhythm and perhaps counter a move that the other crew is making. California now has rode through Minnesota. They've assumed the role of leader, and right now it's pretty much lanes one through six in that order with a good race coming between the first two, Minnesota and lane two, in California in lane one. That's the call at 600 meters. Women's Collegiate Novice B, this is the uh, second of three, so two will move forward, two will go to the petite, and right now lane assignments, Cal is, <coughs> excuse me, uh, Cal is in, check that UCLA is in lane number one. Uh, Cal is in lane number one, my apologies. Minnesota is in lane two. University of Southern California in lane three. Orange Coast College then comes out in lane number five, San Diego State University, and their A crew, Sacramento State in lane six, and lane number seven is the B crew. 
Yes, yeah, so what we're seeing here, Ellen, is how successful the novice coaches have been in recruiting. They are, this is, uh, this is Cal's freshman recruits racing Minnesota's freshman recruits racing USC's freshman recruits. And Orange Coast College, being a two-year college, doesn't recruit. They take the talent that lands on their door and builds them up. San Diego State does recruiting, as does Sac State. So uh, Orange Coast uh, doing very, very well here. Well, you could almost draw a line across the bow markers right here is uh, how close it is. There doesn't seem to be any separation in the crews, uh, but they do line up one through seven. Cal, Minnesota, USC, Orange Coast College, San Diego State A, Sac State, and San Diego State B, as they are very competitive in this one. About the only crew that's begun to fall off the pace just a little bit is the San Diego State University B crew and Sacramento State but uh, we can take all the rest of them and line them up for the moment anyway. You know, and again, this is novice rowing, so anything could happen out there. It's an adventure every day, every stroke. So we might see a serpentine activity like we have seen in a couple of other novice races. Uh, dropping back now just a little bit is Orange Coast College as uh, Cal takes a course correction. The wind has swung around to where there is a little bit of a problem as the crews come through the opening of what they call the Ingram Street Bridge here. And uh, when they hit that, they have to really adjust. And it looked like Cal had to make an adjustment. And just as I say that, Minnesota comes crossways to the lane assignment and uh, loses a little bit of ground, but they still hang on to second spot. USC is out there in third position, then out to the outside San Diego State University a crew has gotten past Orange Coast College, then Sacramento State, and the Aztecs B crew on the far outside is trailing. Yes, these rudders are, as I mentioned earlier, the size of a credit card. So when the coxswain uses them to try to steer the boat, she's going against the run of the water against the hull. So it takes a little while for the boat to turn, often two or three strokes. So if she keeps the rudder on to keep turning, you can oversteer, and then you have to oversteer back. In lane number three, USC has begun to make a little bit of a run at Minnesota as Minnesota has fallen back a bit. Cal along the shoreline is beginning to exert their situation as number one. And there's a slight amount of open water as Minnesota goes across the lane a little bit. And that will hurt them as USC steps into that second position on the outside. But Minnesota now has righted their situation and begun to fight back. It is Cal along the shoreline. And then it's almost a dead heat now between Minnesota and USC. I'm going to give it back to Minnesota after they took care of their business there. Then outside San Diego State University A crew, Sacramento State has moved up on Orange Coast College falling back. And the Aztec B crew on the far outside for San Diego State. This is Cal along the shoreline and the Golden Jerseys. And it looks like Minnesota got their course correction taken care of and would not allow USC back in the picture. And those two crews have opened up some water over San Diego State A crew. And then Orange Coast College beginning to close down on the Aztecs in their A boat. Sacramento State on the outside and San Diego State University B crew trailing. It is California by a two, uh, check that the about a two boat length open water lead over Minnesota. Minnesota looks like they're laboring as USC comes on here, but they don't seem to be closing any ground as we have almost a stern to bow marker advantage for Minnesota over USC. Then back to Orange Coast College making a comeback against San Diego State's A crew and Sacramento State getting into it. It's bow marker to bow marker with Orange Coast College and San Diego State as we look at the finish. Cal crosses the finish line as the unofficial winner of this heat. Minnesota apparently will be second and in third will be USC. But now Orange Coast College looks like they may have taken the measure in the last 100 meters of San Diego State. In a fight for that fourth position, it is Orange Coast College on the far side and San Diego State on the near side on your screen and Orange Coast College looks like they may have gotten it. Boy, they made a furious charge right there at the end to get up into what we think was the fourth position 
as we'll take a look at it on the instant replay here in a second. There they are with Orange Coast College, the golden shell on the closer to the shoreline, and they do, in fact, get by San Diego, uh, check that, yeah, San Diego State University's A crew and finish in that fourth position. So once again, we've had a very sterling row and stirring row by somebody back in the pack to try to get up to that next level and not let things get away from them. Yes, yeah, so if you have loved ones in this race uh, and you can be here tomorrow or go online for the live streaming, the petite final, which is for the crews that finished third and fourth in this race, will be Sunday morning at 7.20 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. And the grand final...